Well, as we under, get underway this morning and turn to Acts 15, I want you to think about uh, the kinds of attacks that can take place, um, for instance, when it comes to warfare, kinds of attacks that an enemy may launch onto its enemy. For on the one hand, uh, you may have a kind of attack that is obvious and out in the open, where the adversary does not hide their intentions. They make their position clear, their intended goals, and it's obvious what's going to ensue. And at that point, it's just a matter of, do you have the strength? Do you have the wherewithal and the resolve to withstand it? And you know, that does make me think so much of the situation in Ukraine, where Vladimir Putin did not hide his intentions. The whole world Uh, knew what was about to ensue, and that allowed them to fortify themselves and other nations to help and assist with arms and to get ready for the the onslaught that was to come. And by God's grace to this point, they have held up in in a great way, and we pray they continue. However, those kinds of attacks, as we've seen, can inflict much damage and even overtake you if you are not prepared and do not have the wherewithal and the means to fight it off. But on the other hand, there's another kind of attack, one that is more covert in its nature, where the enemy is able to hide or cover up the intentions they have, and the attack ends up being an outright surprise. And what can make things worse is that those who are most crafty and effective at those kinds of attacks not only hide the fact that an an attack is coming, they can even convince you that they are on your side. They're helping your cause, that what they are doing is actually aiding your cause. 